everyone welcome back to today's video today we are checking out player balancer which is actually a plugin we took over about three or four months ago by the time you're seeing this video and pretty much what it does is it allows you to actually uh balance players it kind of does exactly what it's uh named it balances players between servers um and the reason we took this over is because i was a really big fan of the plugin originally and then when the author got too busy and needed to do some stuff um i was like hey i'll take it over i'll try to add some cool stuff um, sadly, I haven't been able to add that much yet, but um, I'm working on a few things in the background. So today, let's go over what this does. We're going to go over a quick example of how it's used and go in game a little bit. Um, I'm going to try to make it a little detailed, but not keep this video at like an hour and a half or something. I'm trying to keep it a nice 10, 15 minute video, just going over some of the main features. And then you can look at the wiki page that we're currently building. Um, I'll show that off in a minute uh, for any extra questions and Discord always exists as well. Anyway, let's get straight into this. So pretty much what we have is the actual balancer system. So that is, um, you can define in the configure file exactly how many players you want to balance somewhere, what servers need to be balanced, you can exclude servers, um, all that good stuff. There's a kick handler. So if you get kicked from a server, what server do you want them to all fall back to? Um, you can add a, there's a Slack hub and Slack lobby built in. So you don't even need that on your Bungie Cord server. Um, there is section commands. So if you have the add-on, which is just a spigot, um, plugin, because the main plugin is Bungie Cord. Um, if you want the add-on, you can actually set this up and then it, um, will allow you to have actual commands within spigot that you can send players to sections and look at all the sections and all that good stuff. Um, it does have a API as well. Very good, nice API that you can use in your plugins. It works with party and friends. I'm currently rewriting the add-on for that. It may be out by the time this video is um, released. If not, you can find it on GitHub. The download's always going to be there anyway. Um, it works with Ultimate Friends, which is already integrated. Placeholder API. Um, any lobby plugin that you want, because it just has to run a command. And also, um, Redis Bungie, if you use it for um, one of the newer versions of it. Anyway, this is the command for the section. So you can see, uh, you can view all the details about it, which servers are in the sections, uh, what provider it is. We'll go over providers in a minute. Um, if it's a parent to another one, all that good stuff. And then you can hover over it, see its lobby count. And if players can join it, the description and the IP address, all that good stuff is there. We're going to go over the configure file once we actually get into the thing. And then let's real quick go over the API. So this is our wiki page. It's going to become way more detailed when I actually have some time to work on it in the next month. But, um, the developer API side is kind of what you look at the most. Um, so pretty much you, it's all using the Bungie Cord messaging channel, um, but actually the player balancing messenger channel. So, um, what you would do is you would do player ba balancer, uh, main for the channel name, and then you can use any of these. You can use connect. So this would connect to whatever the lobby sections are. You can connect other player, a player named something to a lobby section. You can get the sections and re, uh, get the JSON response for those. And get the sections by individual servers to check the status and all that good stuff. You can get the section of current players on. And you can get a whole section's uh, player count. So if you have like a custom uh, lobby type thing and you want all the player count for that whole section. Everybody in those like 15 different Skywars servers or whatever. You can get the total player count pretty easily using the API for that. Um, that's it pretty much for the API and the overview on the wiki. Again, more coming soon on all that. Let's hop into how I have this all set up and let's get rid of my uh, appointment apparently. Um, so if we look at how all this is set up here, we have a Bungie Cord server and I have three other servers on here. One is a lobby, two of them are survival servers. If we go into Bungie and I'll just make this full screen so it's a little bit easier to see. In our plugins folder, we have um, the player balancer and then I added uh, party and friends and our uh, testing add-on for that because I was testing this earlier. These are not required. The only thing you need to have on here is technically player balancer. And when you're inside a player balancer, it's not your normal .yml uh, file. It's actually a um, .conf file. So just go ahead and open this with notepad or notepad++. And in here, we have a bunch of different settings. Why don't we go over some of them? By default, the plugin will be disabled. The reason why this is it does take effect over a bunch of core network. So you want to keep this disabled until you have configured it. Um, so once you configure it, just turn it to true. Do you want reload to work if you reload your Bungie cord and all that stuff? I would say yes. Keep that to true. If you want um, Redis Bungie, the Limework fork of it is located here. If you're using that, turn this to true and it will help sync across um, Redis. And then um, do you want all of the less messages? You can silence it. 
do you want plugin messaging to be able to work? This is pretty much, do you want the API of the plugin to work? Uh, I would, so obviously, just keep that to true. All the messages are configurable right here, so you can configure everything that it says. And then this is where we kind of get into the big details of it. This is where you set up your balancer. So you can hear, see here underneath sections, I have general lobbies and I have survival. So let's real quick go over exactly what all of these um, different providers are. So none make sure no one's able to connect to those sections. So maybe you want to set that to like a test server and you only change it on certain occasions. That would be something for that. The lowest in this case would be if you have two servers. So under survival, we have survival and survival two. Setting it to random lowest, we'll go ahead and select the random server that has the least amount of players. So if you both have zero players, it's going to select a random one of the two. But if one has 20 players and one has zero, it's going to select the zero. Random filler is kind of the time, same, same type of thing, but it's kind of opposite. So it's going to select the one that has the most players online, but is not full. So that would be selecting one that has 20 out of 30 players on. It will send you there rather than the one that has 15 out of 30. And then we have progressive. So it's just going to be um, sending to the first server in the list that is not full. And then you have progressive lowest, which would send you to the first server with the least players online. So it's not going to select a random one. And then you have progressive filler, which is going to do the same thing as before, but it's going to send you to the server with the most players in the order. So it's just going to go down the order. It's not going to skip over servers. And then if you have external, that is if you are using a extra plugin or something that would be used to handle for that. Principal section, this is going to be like your main lobbies, put whatever that is. The default principal, so that is it's the fallback and kick will go here. You can set up dummy sections um, where it just nothing happens when you join those. Um, you can show players. So should you show players of all of them on the section, etc. Um, so just configure this to what you need for your other plugins. Server checker is where it just checks if those servers are online and gets like all the message of the days. And then you can actually set it so um, it will not be accessible when the message of the day equals something. So if the message of the day equals game in progress, it's going to skip over that when selecting the server for the player to connect to. And then we have the fallback command. So this is where do you want it? Lobby, hub, back, kick, whatever you want it to be. Um, and if you want a permission for that, you can set that. I always leave this enabled because I just don't like having another plugin that has do slash hub or lobby or whatever. You can add as many as you want here. And the default is obviously slash fallback. Same thing, you can exclude sections from being able to use this. So if you have a test server and you don't want people going back to lobby, you can exclude it. Should it be uh, restrictive? So should you not be able to connect um, to the parents of the principal section? So if you have that set up, if you have an auth lobby, should when you do slash hub and you are in lobby already, are you not going to get taken back to that auth server? Um, just prevent the same selection. Okay, so what this does is this makes it so if you do slash lobby and lobby, you're not going to get connected to another lobby. And then you got your kick handler. So this is like where you can um, determine if a player is reconnected or not. What should happen? Um, should you force the default server principle? Do you exclude servers to this? All that good stuff can be found in here. And then this is just um, server refresh is should it just refresh um, and add servers that you add to your configure file when the plugin was not loaded. And then finally, you have a special lobby where you can only connect if you have certain permissions and you can set all this up to your liking and enable it if you want. Pretty easy and simple. So pretty much um, you may be asking, where does it get those server names like survival one and two? It's just from your default um, function cord config. So you have your lobby survival, survival two. So you would just pull your servers from here and enter them in to that um, configure file. So you can see lobby and survival. So if I go back into player balancer here, edit it with notepad plus plus, you can see here I have lobby survival, survival two. So it hooks directly into punchy cord, that easy. Um, a lot of people will probably ask, it does not support velocity at this time. I am looking into that. Um, but for now it does support waterfall and any other fork that doesn't change how punchy cord plugins work. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and start our punchy cord server. And when starting it up, it will go through um, all of that cool stuff. So it will be like uh, registering all the servers. It will tell you which ones have been registered. Obviously, silent mode will turn this off. And let's hop in game. 
All right, so we are in game here. And if I type slash balancer, we'll just go ahead and open up the main command for the plugin. You got balancer, balancer paste. That allows you to paste your logs for debugging purposes. So if you have an issue, send us uh, slash balancer paste all and send us those logs over on Discord. And then you have balancer reload. So you can actually reload the whole plugin within the game, um, which makes it really easier for support and all that good stuff. You got slash section. So slash section allows you to uh, view all the sections. So you can do selection list and view the general and survival. If I click like survival here, you can actually see it opens up this other menu where you can see the provider, um, the section server, any commands you've set up for it. And then if you hover over it, you can see if the servers are online or offline. All that good stuff, depending on what you have set over in your connection um, system. If I do slash section and then I can do connect and then let's say survival. Um, now, if you remember, it's going to connect me to one of the random ones because I got that progressive lowest thing on. And if I had another player, it would connect it to the other one. So on this one, I'm actually on the survival server. So if I sent my alt on here, um, oh my God, there's a lot of zombies and stuff. If I sent my alt over there, it would actually connect to the survival too, because that is the next lowest server for people. So yeah, that's pretty much the plugin. And if you have any questions or anything, Feel free to reach out to us on Discord. We'll be happy to answer them. Um, the plugin is fully open source over on GitHub. So if you are interested in actually checking it out and using it yourself, you can go ahead and go to GitHub or press download now. When you press download now, just press normal jar download. And this will take you to GitHub where you can download the balancer, the add-on for it, and soon to be the uh, party and friends add-on as well. So you can go ahead and look at all the code here. Feel free to use it. Uh, modify it the license info is inside of license and hopefully this did help you but um yeah that's it for today's video have a great rest of your december month uh, there's a lot of fun videos coming and i'll see you in the next one bye everyone <laughs>